Olive, poor thing, sits and thinks that it's drab. Sure does. Sits and sits and sits and sits and thinks about its olive drab drab. Doesn't know that it is about to be named color of the year by those with a nose for the new, by the passionate few. Yeah, olive is definitely in. Everything that can possibly mean anything, anywhere, at least for a year, has got to be olive. Did you hear that, olive? Did you? Know what it means? Oh, olive. There'll be olive cars and olive trucks and olive chickens and olive ducks and olive socks and olive garters and olive brakes and olive starters. Olive sorry, olive please, olive whatnots and olive trees. Olive trees. What a quaint notion. <laughs> olive trees. Lavender is an old, 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 old lady. Lavender is, aren't you? I thought you were. Lady Lavender in the indigo house by the purple wood. Cobwebbed by spiders and magic magenta. Lavender, keeper of dark corners and black blue blood. Lady of the soft edges, tell us all, or tell me where day goes with night and what they do there. And what it means. The questions fall on your lavender lap, and your answer is a lavender laugh in a lavender cry near a lavender what? By a lavender why? Burgundy is fat. Sorry to be so blunt, but that's burgundy. Fat. Burstingly burgundy. So. But also soft. So fatly soft, so softly fat, that you begin to wonder, really, how does Burgundy, soft and as fat as it is, manage to keep up? Where does it hide its huffing and puffing, and the deep? Deep drowsiness after the tall dinner. Come, come, big Burgundy. What do you weigh? How much have you gained since the beginning? Beautiful burgeoning Burgundy. Big, big Burgundy. Fat, fat, fat as a Burgundy cat. In the beginning, oh, long before that, when light was deciding who should be in and who should be out of spectrum, yellow was in trouble. Even then, 
Seems that Green, you know how Green can be, didn't want Yellow in. Some silly primal envy, I suppose, but for whatever cause, the effect was bad on Yellow and caused Yellow to weep yellow tears for several eternals before there were years until Blue heard what was up between Green and Yellow and took Green aside for a serious talk in which Blue pointed out that if Yellow and Blue were to get together not that they would but if they did a gentle threat they could make their own green. Oh, said Green with some understanding. Naturally, by a sudden change of hue, Green saw the light and Yellow got in. Worked out fine. Yellow got lemons and Green got limes. as an intellectual vibration. Smack dab in the middle of spectrum. Green can be a problem. That's because there's so many different greens inside of green, and each one has a different IQ. There's the green that should never have happened. The stupid green. The green that is green with envy. Then there's the so-so green. The who cares anyway green. But somewhere in green is a green here and there that has something to say. A truly intelligent green. A green with some integrity. That's the kind of green for you and me. There's a green to be seen with. Vivid, vibrant, living alive. We should spend the better part of our time, yours and mine, with a green like this. Maybe some of it would rub off. Impossible to understand beige unless you stare at him hard, stare him right in his whys. Unless you see beige in the serious beigeness of being its beige self. More than anything, beige is careful, insanely so really, almost as careful as that shade of yellow that's afraid. But beige is much sneakier than yellow. Wants the entire everything to be as safe as yesterday is, now that right now's here. You know how flamboyant red can be. <laughs> wouldn't last a minute with beige. Probably wouldn't get past his secretary, Miss Always Light Tan. Beige even thinks that orange is a little too far out, the way it streaks sunrise and set. And just the mention of green, and beige sees purple, which also drives him into a rage. Of course, it's only a beige rage. Not much strength to it. To be honest as Lily White, the truth is that beige is anti-color, unless the color is right. Unless the color is beige. About as average as you can get away with seeing is the gray way beige likes to have things being. Think of the times, the number of times that you can make rhymes with that friend, Maroon. There's the month of June, Maroon. There's a singer's croon, As she sings a tune, Maroon, to an orange moon, Maroon, like a crazy loon, Maroon, 
please say prune, maroon, with a silver spoon, maroon. How high is noon, maroon? Tell me soon, tell me soon, tell me soon, tell me soon. No telling the times, the number of rhymes that we can make with our friend Maroon. Platoon, cartoon, monsoon, lampoon, spittoon, baboon, octoroon, macaroon, buffoon, afternoon, opportune, pantaloon, immune. Yeah, there's so many rhymes for good old Maroon. I'm sure if you try, you can think of a few that have slipped me by. See what you can rhyme with maroon. Do it soon. Do it soon. Do it soon. Ekru is a critic. Loves to see the show. Just doesn't know when to say yes and when to say no. But that's because of beige. You see, beige has taught Ekru a funny point of view. The true is like false, and false is like true. Who can expect to get anything straight? Like an answer, I mean. From an Ekru that thinks, or thinks that it thinks by the thought it was taught, that love is the same as hate. That shouldn't the same as should. That dumb is the same as smart. That bad is the same as good. A kind of critical confusion in critic could have complications almost arithmetic. Those of us, are there any? <laughs> Too many, who have to know exactly what to do, what to see, what to say, what to think. We'll have to wait until Ekru is ready with his double talking trait to make steady unsteady, calling crooked straight. But what the heck, you know Ekru. Just a freeloading critic who loves to see the show, just doesn't know when to say yes or when to say no. Chartreuse wanted to quit. Why not? Figured it would go off somewhere. Be by itself. Maybe let green or yellow take over. Get away from it all. That's what Chartreuse wanted. Who needs chameleons? What difference would it make? In the immense design of things, if certain feathers were some other color, parrots wouldn't care. Nor would parakeets. But what about the leaves of rhubarb? Oh, Chartreuse began to tremble just thinking of the trouble rhubarb could make. You know rhubarb, and the rhubarb that rhubarb could cause. So Chartreuse decided not to give notice, not for a while anyway. Besides, isn't that a nervous Katie did over there that needs a new coloring? Of course, Chartreuse is gonna stay, cause it feels used. Gee, you shouldn't have. Of course you did. Couldn't help yourself. Had to. Turquoise. Don't you know how simple you are? Don't you know what effect you're having on everything? See the flash of you. Turquoise. There. By her gliding through the light. And by such swifts and shifts of slight. Also, there you go. All streaks of turquoise blur. Definitely so. And here, 
Here a turquoise all tender, trembling like water. What do you think of a turquoise like that? Then there's this turquoise. And that turquoise. Oh, turquoise, you shouldn't have. Of course you did. Couldn't help yourself. Had to. Isn't that right? Oh, there's something that you can tint. Turquoise. Take a close look. Yeah, but much closer than that. Take a real close look. You begin to see why. There's much more to white, much more than can ever meet the eye. Like, look over there, there. You see that white? <laughs> sure looks for sure like the white that's called pure, but it isn't. Not at all. That's an off-white white. Sorry. Just doesn't quite measure up. Falls short. Absolutely pure, pure white is just a dream of a dream. Even now, if you close your eyes tight and let your brain go to where it's whiter than snow, you'll see. You'll know. The whitest white that white can be white, as imagined by you, imagined by me, as the purest of pure, pure white, is just a little bit off. Just a little bit off white. Off white white. Off white white. Flesh, as a color, is in an awful mess. Yes. Ask anyone with flesh. They'll tell you. Flesh, as a color, is about as close to a problem as a color can get. Some people think the only color flesh color should be is the color their flesh color is, which, pure and simple, is color-centric thinking. Popular in some corners. But you and I know, though, that the proper color for flesh to be is the proper color it is, varying from complexion to complexion. But if black flesh, and white flesh, and brown flesh, and red flesh, and yellow flesh, and tan flesh, if all the fleshes that are flesh want to establish a sensible similarity among differences, we'd better forget the flesh and the colors it can be and think on the spirit and its singular light. Otherwise, flesh as a color could be black and blue or even a bloody hue. Sure as there's azure, it's true. Azure is bored with just being blue. A fact that has caused our dear friend to act sort of silly, like he's at his wit's end. Azure's as way out as wink. Maybe more out than that. Maybe winkier than wink. You'd never have guessed, but Azure can think of the craziest things to do. Besides tinting the atmosphere's top, I mean. The part we all call sky blue. Azure would rather, so I've been told, let the sky be a white, upside-down bowl that Azure could Azure with clouds inside. 
or possibly freckle with birds. Look, if Azure could read or write in a book, it would want every thought it could Azurely think to be written in Azure with Azure ink. Why? Just to be different. That's the name of the game. You see, Azure can't stand being anything sane. Oh, what's the use? Says Puce, with a more or less colorless sigh, that you can hear from the bottomest low to the top of most high, from this edge of spectrum to that. What's the use? What's the use? What's the use? A rant of a chant, so silly of puce, as silly I'd say, oh, sillier still than the silliest silly of the silliest goose. Here's the trouble with puce. Puce is a victim of loose thinking. Thinks poetry pays. <laughs> No one these days pays the least attention to things poetic. Ain't got no time to waste on rhyme. But Puce doesn't know this. Could be a screw loose in Puce. Oh well, what's the use? Have you heard about Magenta? Magnificent news. Has her own gossip column. And almost the freedom to say almost anything she almost wants about almost any color, shade, tint, or hue that you and I know. Think of the juicy little tidbits of inside that we can get from her. Exclusive peeks at what Lavender said to Magenta about the way Fuchsia's been fooling around with Cerise while Russet is off to who knows where with Forest Green and all his crony colors. That sort of thing. You know how witty and well-connected Magenta is. In no time at all, her column will be as much a part of the Grievening Blues or the Lafternoon Capers as the stock quotations. Did you see her column on heliotrope? The whole column. Was it ever an eye-opener? Seems that heliotrope is taking instructions from indigo in color balance. Think of that. Why, magenta might become as big as chartreuse, or maybe even turquoise. Now that she has a column of her own, I'm so glad for Magenta. Take all the colors under the sun. Only one color I think much fun, and that's orange. Orange, I said. The silly old color who lives next to red. The one that is orangely out of its head. That giggles and titters and rolls in the aisle. No matter what happens, guffaws all the while. Old orange. As flip as a high-spinning coin. Or a stone-skipping watery skips. As free as a spree with a bird supposed to be. If a spree with a bird could be free, why not? An orangey bird with orangey wings, with orangey songs that it orangey sings, that orangely comes as it orangely goes, laughing in orange from its head to its toes. When everything's orangey goofy like this, trouble's a joke, just an orangey joke, so sorrow and sadness and sigh, just jokes to poke orangey pokes at. 
Only one trouble. Trouble's orange, if you please. That's in the morning. It's the trouble called squeeze. Changing orangey orange into vitamin C's. Purple. All dignity. All pomp. All put on. Has an aura to be felt as well as seen. Purple has class. Some say the highest. They stand in awe of purple. Royally, loyally in awe. This alone makes pompous purple king. King Purple feels there's a right that is his. That goes way, way back to beginning. To the place where pomp began. That is purple pomp. Some say, those in the know, that purple got pomp from the first of the purple queens. From mother pomp who thought it all up, the purple dignity, the purple pomp, the purple put on, thought it all up, so anyone purple from then until now would never have to ever, ever work. And that's why purple is king. Funny thing about mud, it's a color that isn't thought of as so. But as sure as there's green leaf green or blood red blood, you can also be sure there's muddy mud mud as a color, I mean. And which, if it weren't all around, would leave little hope for a bar we call soap. Mud, or muddy, whichever you prefer, is the bane of existence to every human her. But to the sellers of soap, mud, or muddy, is the great white hope. Hooray for dirt, and even dust. Both are considered a muddy mud must. So next time you say oh no to yourself when muddy mud mud makes dirty what's clean, think what this doggerel's logic has been as you take from its shelf the antidote soap. If there wasn't a color called mud or muddy or muddy mud mud, there would be very little hope for soap. Russet is the subtle one. Russet is the quick one. Russet is the obvious one. Russet is the slow one. Russet knows what goes. Russet, a fool to its toes. Russet, as wise as an owl. Russet, as dumb as a scowl. Russet, just kind of is. Russet makes sense though. Russet nonsensically so. Russet 
like a hero full of zero. Russet. Russet. Amber believes in being neutral, or more correctly, has been placed in a position to make it appear that that is its truth. Pure amber neutrality. Here, in the dizzying come and go, amber, being in the middle, observes a most careful disinterestedness, plays referee in the roundabout between red and green. Amber, from its vantage, winks among the many million stops and goes because Amber knows from the bottom of its Amber that even creatures made in God's image, even something as smart and as special and as serious as that, has to be told when to stop, has to be told when to go. Or the monuments to gregarious that we call cities would become huge, falling apart, hopelessly snarled, bumper-to-bumper, horn-blasting monuments to traffic jam. If Amber would be on all the time, staring, neutral, Amber, deaf to a million angry, biased horns. Time was when blue was the saddest. Sadder than that, blue was the bluest blue can be blue. No one seemed to care, least of all blue. No, blue wasn't making it. But then. On a Thursday of a year, who can remember except blue? Something sudden happened. Blue went as high as sky is high. Flipped fathoms up. Began to swing easy, sensibly. The way swings. Should be swung like birds sing a song. Now everyone loves the new blue, 'cause it's the truest. You will too when you see this blue, true blue, too true. Of spades is black as a hole in Calcutta is black as a jack in the game is.
Oh, where would we be if we didn't have gold to back us all up? If we didn't have gold as a standard? What a terrible question to pose. What a terrible question to ponder. Now, who would pose questions like those? Think of the gold. Of the goody good gold that we love so much more than just much. We love it so extremely extreme we make sure that the plenty there's of it is always locked up. Guarded by guards who have guns, guns with real bullets inside them, ready to shoot anyone dead who comes for the gold who shouldn't. And all of this, of course, is all right. Righter than that, as right as right can be right. Still, there's a problem. I hate to bring it up, but unnatural nature has done it again. Evoluted a moth, slightly metallic, who I've been told can nibble away at our dear, precious gold, leaving terrible holes, holes you can see right through, leaving us gold reminiscent of Swiss. Oh, what the bankers must think of this. Swiss gold. There's something in crimson. Something that should be stopped. Stop now, not later, but now. why. Crimson is sick, sick in its red. No telling what crimson might do if the notion should start in its head. Might blow us all up. Who knows? Know what the trouble in crimson is? Doesn't know when to stop. Always wants more and more and I'll bet you that every war that's ever been fought was fought most of all because Crimson was taught to want more and more and more and more. Like I said, Crimson, you're sick. Sick in the red. No telling what Crimson might do if the notion should start in its head. Watch out! Watch out for Crimson. Brown. Among purists, and you know how many purists there are, Brown was having some difficulty. Some of the purists wanted Brown to be more... Others wanted Brown to be more... Still others wanted Brown to be... To be basically brown. Yeah. A lesser color might have fallen apart. But brown met the problem beautifully. By becoming just about as basic. Just about as subtle. As you can just about get. That's why you hear so many people saying, my, that's a subtle brown. That's the way it's been ever since. Even with a light tan, or sweet dark chocolate, or deep brown eyes. Next time you see brown, any shade, remember, Subtle, basic, brown. Rosalie, Rosie, Rose O'Grady. Blushing begins. Explaining exactly 
grandly grins, telling tall tales to fools out of schools who would if they could, knock on wood, imitate image. Rosalie Rose is Rosie O'Grady, Rose in her glasses, her all-male classes, her punts and her passes, surpassing us all. Rosie's a coach, pleases the masses. Lady O'Grady, some of them call her. But she's really just Rosalie Rosie, or Rose to us. A gem of a feminine gal, who's a pal to a team that was, way, well, I'd say several tons anyway. That's our Rosie, our Rosalie Rosie Rose. A chick of a coach with a team that must seem like a football dream, led by a lass known far and wide simply as Lady O'Grady, our Rosalie Rosie Rose, whom everyone knows. About Hazel, there's something. Who can say what or why it should be, but there's something so silly. No, much worse than that. Willy-nilly silly is a better way to say the way Hazel's been behaving on the silliest of days. I mean, really. Hazel, who would have thought, and at her age, too, just shows you. Hazel should have stuck to just coloring eyes. The world isn't ready for this Hazel surprise. Are you? I'm not. I mean, enough's enough. Who needs hazel colored evil, hazel colored good, hazel colored shouldn't, hazel colored should, hazel colored laughter, hazel colored cry, hazel colored birthday, hazel colored die, hazel colored happy, hazel colored sad, hazel colored mother, hazel colored dad. No, the world isn't ready, not to my eyes which are brown for the willy-nilly silly that this hazel surprise. Are you? I'm not. I'm me. Mauve is a character as colorful as characters can come but in a quiet, quiet way. Mauve is as quiet as a mute. Doesn't give a hoot. Should have been an owl. Wise and old. Mauve only cares about dancing. Quiet, quiet dancing. Makes sense. At least a kind of mauve sense. And for oh so many reasons. But mostly, it's the way mauve moves that makes mauve so amazing. Such a joy to see. Mauve moving is as graceful as glide. That's true. It's known far and wide. Every move Mauve makes, makes marvelous sense. A kind of miracle is Mauve moving quiet. See it? Mauve moving quiet. Fuchsia is a fuss budget of the worstest kind. Wants everything, everywhere, to be her color. Which, when you stop to blink about it, is as silly as everything, everywhere, ivory. Or everything, everywhere, ultramarine. Or everything, everywhere, burnt umber. But 
Fuchsia wants the world her way. Monochromatically, Fuchsia. Well, naturally, all the other colors want Fuchsia put away. Anywhere, out of sight. Monomania, especially in a color, is the worst. Requiring long, careful treatment. Oh, if only Fuchsia would go see that sensible someone who straightened out Heliotrope. You remember the trouble Heliotrope had? Thinking the sun should shine for her and her only? Strikes me as the same sickness Fuchsia now faces. If you have any influence, because I don't, if you do, maybe you could get this silly, silly hue to see the light, right? We don't want to lose you, Fuchsia. Not by a blinkety-blank sight. So please, 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 Fuchsia. Won't you please see the light? They're about to begin. The group called Oop. Come on in. Look. That sepia. Smooth. As a smoothie is smooth. On the edge of it all, wiser than otherwise is. Like the else of something else. Oh, they're about to begin the beginning of begin. That's yellow ochre playing around. Swaying sound. With the loose tendrils of his ticky tock time. And that. <laughs> That's burnt umber. Just got out. You remember umber. Who could forget umber? The way he was burnt. Oh, there's good old Rossiana playing changes. Look at him, good. Goofiness, ink. But as thoughtful as think. Hey, sepia is about to play. Smooth as the smoothie is smooth. On the edge of it all. Wiser than otherwise is. Like the else of something else. A most colorful group called Oop. Innocent as an innocent can be innocent is Nutria. Nobody knows who you are, Nutria. You're definitely, definitively unknown. About as unknown as a color can get. Yet, you persist in this nonsense, as the innocents so often do, of becoming someone big with a name. You, a big name, you, up there in lights, a show of your own, Nutria presents Nutria being Nutria. Ha, <laughs> ha. What a child of a color you can be. Do you think, do you really, really think that light would ever be allowed to allow you a stage only for you? You've got to stop dreaming dreams that should never be dreamt. Wake up, Nutria. Get yourself a red manager, an orange agent, a yellow writer, a green salesman, a blue tailor, an indigo barber, a violet taxman. Then, maybe, then, if they play your cards right, innocent as an innocent can be innocent. Nutria, you might become known. But then again, Nutria. Sorry to say, but Cerise, according to a most indelible source who lives near Hugh, is out of it. True. Cerise is definitely out. About as out as out's the opposite of in. Don't ask me why. Doesn't make any more sense to me than it does to you. To see Cerise. Sitting, silly, sad, moping, melancholy, mad. 
here in the deepest of dumps. Come, come, Cerise. What do you think Pinkle think? And if Fuchsia could see you fussing so, and oh, what Grey would say. No, I'm sorry, Cerise. With your talent for tinging, you should be ashamed. Every shade of you should. Now you get up and get out and start tinging, or I'll call the police. Did you hear me, Cerise? The police. Cerise. Did you hear me? If there's an absolute white. And if there's an absolute black, and there is, then it follows that there must be an absolute gray, and there is. Absolute gray is the perfect gray. That's the same distance from absolute white as it is from absolute black. Not white gray or black gray, but absolutely perfect. Gray, the grayest gray that gray can be gray, and it's around this gray that all the good grays are. The kind of grays that know what's up, that know what's down. That know how far out to get, or how deep in. Absolute gray and all the good grays always know just what to say, 'cause they're so close to absolutely perfect gray. Coral, as a color, is an absolute flip. Coral is as hip as the hippiest of hips. Don't ask me why, just is. Coral knows what goes, knows that it knows, knows it before it happens. Even then, then when something is just maybe thinking of maybe just beginning to begin. Even then, Coral knows. That's how hip Coral is. So let me tell you what the new bit'll be. According to Coral, as Coral told me, in just a few years, maybe more, maybe less, we'll praise only stupid. You heard me. Yes. I know that sounds dumb. But according to Coral, who's the hippest of hips, stupidity pays, especially these days. So, stupid will praise. Maybe not now, but in a few years, if Coral's correct in what it says about this, ignorance may well become a most popular bliss. Just according to Coral.